welcome back to Incredible Journeys, Brands and Leaders. Our next story today is of an organization that promotes sustainable farming practices and sustainable animal husbandry practices and supports the empowerment of farmers in a big way. It also supports rural entrepreneurship, women's empowerment and is constantly innovating on the technology front to help people at the bottom of the pyramid. Here's the story of Ayurved Research Foundation. Ayurved began its journey in the year 1992 with an aim to utilize the goodness of Ayurveda to help alleviate problems faced by the animal population. Bringing the best of herbal and modern scientific and advanced technologies, Ayurved offers a comprehensive animal care portfolio of herbal healthcare and nutritional products that are 100% natural and safe. And now we are joined by two leaders from Ayurved Research Foundation, Mr. Pradeep Barman, the chairman of the organization, and Mr. Mohanji Saxena, the managing trustee of ARF. Welcome, gentlemen. Thank you very much for joining us here today. Mr. Barman, let me begin by asking you, you started ARF back in 2005 with the key objectives of promoting sustainable farming practices, sustainable animal husbandry practices. Today, 15 years on, what are your key focus areas? Well, our main objective is to bring science into livestock and agriculture and integrate livestock and agriculture. That is our main focus. Mr. Saxena, one of the key objectives of ARF is also to increase farmers' incomes. So give us a sense of what kind of interventions uh, you are doing to ensure that you increase the farmers' income and how many farmers have you been able to impact so far? Through scientific interventions that how he can take care of the health of animals and whatever activity he undertakes, uh, he is able to produce the milk without use of antibiotics and therefore he gets the better price for the milk. Likewise, how to cut down on the feeding cost using the modern scientific approach and uh, artificial insemination has been major intervention and we have trained 1,000 farmer and probably the beneficiary in Sonipat and Panipat district alone has been 10,000 farmers. Right, and Mr. Berman, hydroponics technology is a key intervention that ARF uh, has initiated for the benefit of farmers. For our lay viewers, please explain what this really does, how it benefits the farmer. First for the farmers, what we have done, being more specific, is uh, to grow paddy in the nursery instead of uh, going in the field to grow the paddy before transplanting it. That you save, uh, instead of using 100 parts of water, you use only 10 parts of water. And the second thing which you do is uh, save on the pesticides because you don't use any pesticides to grow the paddy in the hydroponics way. So these are the two main uh, benefits of uh, growing the paddy in hydroponics rather than growing it in the field. ARF has been facilitating training in rural communities to help farmers adopt sustainable agricultural practices through scientific interventions. We have developed uh, several modules. I can uh, cite the one which is for, uh, say, entrepreneur training of farmer for uh, dairy development. So a lot of youth in uh, Sonipat, Panipat and from far off places, they came, took up the training that uh, how to produce uh, better quality milk, how to produce a calf in a year, how to take care of the management of cow dung in a scientific manner using biogas technology and then to go for a scientific way of composting. And with this type of training interventions, uh, they could acquire the skill uh, to enhance their earning potential and contribute uh, better in the income generation programs. Right, and Mr. Berman, what would you say are the big challenges in getting farmers to adopt technology? Well, I think the main uh, essence of uh, convincing the farmer to use your technology is to demonstrate uh, to them the usefulness. I'll, I'll just illustrate here. 
that first we do, uh, did 10 acres with the farmers uh, and the following year we did 100 acres uh, with the farmers and then now we want to do 1000 acres to demonstrate to them that the yield and the quality of, uh, uh, of uh, the produce is much better uh, than what they previously used to do and that is, uh, that is already shown to them that this is done. Now beyond that uh, we have started with one crop, we have started with rice, then we can go on to many other crops such as wheat and then we can go on to medicinal plants as to how to improve uh, the quality of the medicinal plants uh, that uh, can be done on contract farming. ARF is also empowering women in rural India through various awareness initiatives that provide an opportunity to acquire vocational skills. हम जी संकर ग्रुप से मिले हुए हैं हम जी 10 सदस्य हैं जी हमने 1 लाख का लोन लिया था हमने इसका अपना ये नेट बनाने का काम किया था और जी हमने छोटा-छोटा जोड़-जोड़ के ये 5000 इंप्रिंट है हमारे वो ये जमा हुए हमने अपना सामान लेना शुरू कर दिया हमारी आमदनी जी इसमें 10000 का भी हो जाता है फालतू भी हो जाए जी 15 का our lot of programs uh, supported by NABARD uh, also are uh, revolving around the women engagement in the farming activity and uh, that helps them to gain additional income also. Right and ARF also does significant work to support rural entrepreneurship so let me ask Mr. Burman about that what sort of interventions have you made as far as rural entrepreneurship is concerned? Well, we are training the youth on uh, three areas. One is nutrition, and then there is AI, and then there is health. Now, in nutrition, I'm talking not only about uh, the nutrition of the livestock, but also nutrition for the soil. So, after training the youth, at the door of the farmer is where they have to interact and charge for their service. So they do the uh, artificial insemination, that is the AI service, as well as uh, take the soil, test it and advise them on the nutrition for the soil. And then the health for, uh, of the soil as well as the uh, livestock uh, is also given to the farmer at the doorstep. Well, you've been investing heavily in innovations in R&D for a long time. Mr. Saxena, give us a sense of what your key focus uh, research areas are going to be in the near future. As far as even now, there are a lot of areas where gap exists and one of that is the lack of diagnostics. Uh, lack of diagnostic to certify the food safety whether the milk is free from antibiotic, there are no home tests available, no test available to the farmer. So diagnostic continues to be one area where we expect to apply the knowledge of ELISA, the knowledge of uh, nanotechnology, the knowledge of uh, agriculture, uh, artificial uh, in this intelligence. Right, so a lot of continued focus on research and development, on new innovations. Uh, Mr. Berman, then tell us finally, what is your long-term vision for ARF? What is the legacy that you wish to create with it? Food safety is one, uh, then environment protection is another, and then minimizing the carbon footprint of whatever uh, the uh, farmer does. Uh, we do reduce the carbon footprints and then conservation of the resources means waste management. That means uh, we do assist the farmer in uh, doing uh, the composting and training them to do the composting so that the waste, uh, we end up with a zero waste and entire resources are, are being utilized fully. Well, we wish you all the very best, uh, Mr. Berman, Mr. Saxena. Thank you very much for joining thank us you. here today. With that, it's a wrap of this edition of Incredible Journeys, Brands and Leaders. We'll be back next time with lots more. Till then, thank you for joining us. Goodbye.
focus. Ideate. Innovate. Enable.